I want to show you how to use the liquify filter to manually give your t-shirt graphics wrinkles in t-shirt mockups. My t-shirt mockup templates have displacement maps for Photoshop that'll automatically apply this wrinkle, but if the effect isn't what you want or if it's not enough, you can go in and manually adjust it yourself. So I'll show you how to do that. Let's go into Illustrator where I have this logo design. I'm gonna copy it, go back into the Photoshop template, hide the existing graphic, and go Command V to paste it in. And let's scale it down. And if you look at this particular shirt, there's some wrinkles kind of right in here where the, the shirt has some drape to it. So that's where we want to focus our liquify filter. So with this layer highlighted, let's go to filter liquify and we're going to want to scale our brush down with the bracket keys. And essentially I'm just going to focus this brush right where those wrinkles are. So we'll kind of just push up right where those drapes are. And then that's kind of it for the major ones. We can scale up our brush and just give the shirt a little bit of extra unevenness. You don't really need to overdo it. And the other thing is you can change your opacity of the backdrop. So I like it at about 75%. That way you can see what your design used to look like and you can also see what it looks like with the new effect. But if you turn down that opacity, you can see how the graphic looks with all those wrinkles. Um, you can also change your density and your pressure if you want less pressure. Let's say I turned up the density and up the pressure. You can see how it really tweaks out the graphic. So we don't want to overdo that. But I think that's looking pretty good. And let's click OK. Let's go on to our sleeve graphic because this, this kind of trips people up a little bit. So I still have that graphic on the clipboard. I'm just going to click Command V again, and let's scale it down. Now when you're dealing with these mock-up templates that are on a mannequin, you'll see how the sleeve has an angle to it. So we're gonna wanna change our vertical axis to be parallel to that, how that sleeve comes out. That'll help with how realistic these look. The other thing, if you think of your sleeve and also the whole shape of the shirt, if you think of those as cylinders, imagine there's an arm going through there. So this is a cylinder and in perspective, your graphic has to wrap around. So what we'll want to do is kind of just squash everything. And because we have that axis going parallel, it'll look good. And the other thing we want to do is we want to go into our liquify filter to so filter liquify again. And let's turn our opacity back up so we can see what we got. Scale our brush down. And like I said, just imagine that this graphic is wrapping around. So there's a lot more foreshortening going on. Let me turn the density and the pressure down to the brush because I think it's a little too much. But we're gonna kind of flatten the graphic as it goes back into space. That'll help with the realism. And you can see what I've done to the graphic here. So it's looking pretty squashed. And let's click OK to apply. And I think that's looking pretty good. You know, we could keep going in there and adjusting it a little bit. I might actually want to squash the graphic a little bit to match See this wrinkle coming down this way? So let's go back in there, filter, liquify. So let's just squish the graphic a little bit that way and click OK. And I think that's looking pretty good. So let's go into a side view template. Let's turn off that back graphic that's in there. Go Command V to paste in the new one and we'll scale it down and you don't really need to turn your graphic if it's on the, if it's printed on the back too much. I might turn it just a little bit because if you think about the angle of the vertical axis, it's, it's pointing forward a little bit. So let's go ahead and we can go in there and squash the graphic, return to apply it, and then let's go into our liquify filter. And again, we just want to really just contort this thing. Because if you think about how 
much of the graphic you would see. It wouldn't be a whole lot, but it's gonna be a little bit. As it wraps around, you can think of the body of the shirt, again, like a cylinder. I'm just gonna click OK, and we could do the same thing with the sleeve here. I think you know kind of how I would do that. Just take that into liquify filter, and you can see how that one's already contorted. So that's how you can use the liquify filter in Photoshop to make your mock-ups more realistic.